Thinking back on your days of middle school and high school, do you remember a bully? Maybe you encountered a bully, saw someone being bullied, or maybe you were the bully yourself. No matter what your experience was, everyone has had one. In many cases, the kids who are different or less fortunate are the ones being excluded or left out. In order to prevent this behavior, many schools are enforcing the use of school uniforms because many feel that the clothes kids wear is what makes them stand out. However, this is not the cause of the problem. It is what's inside someone that drives them to be little others, not what someone wears. Clothing is a way to express yourself, and by taking, away, by taking that away, you are taking away a form of individuality. School uniforms are causing more harm than help. School uniforms are expensive, do not allow students to express themselves, and socioeconomic status is still evident even with these uniforms. Many parents believe that school uniforms will be a blessing for their wallets. However, school uniforms are more expensive. According to an article found in USA Today called Pros and Cons of School Uniforms, Kim Johnson, the Associate Professor of Design, Housing, and Apparel at the University of Minnesota, Minneapolis, found in a study that many parents end up spending more on school uniforms than they were before they were enforced. According to National Center for Education Statistics, <clears throat> more than half of public schools enforce some sort of dress code. In a study done by the organization at the Cherry Hill School District in Baltimore, evidence found that uniforms, uniforms effects were either unknown, statistically insignificant, or in the case of a few studies, negative. In one study, uniforms correlated with more negative perceptions of school safety and climate by middle school staff and students. In another, they were associated with worse economic res academic results. To review, Many parents and academic advisors believe that providing school uniforms will cost less, but in the end, they are much more expensive. So the first reason why school uniforms are causing more harm than help is because they are expensive. Not only do school uniforms cost more, but they also do not allow for students to express themselves with something as subtle as the clothes that they prefer to wear. Second, school uniforms don't allow students to express themselves. In a study done by Ann Bodine, a professor at the University of Texas San Antonio, published in 2003 by the Academic Journal of Educational Research, her findings concluded that uniforms have a negative effect on academic achievement and students' attitudes. This shows that by not being able to express themselves, students aren't as comfortable nor willing to be academically involved as they could be if they were given the oppor opportunity to dress as they please. Investigations done by the Department of Education Leadership, <clears throat> published in 2012 by the Journal of School Violence, provided that students have strong opinions when it comes to the idea of school uniforms. Only 1.7% of, of the student body liked the idea of having school uniforms. Meanwhile, a staggering 90.8% of the student body disliked or strongly disliked the idea of school uniforms. In summary of my second point, school uniforms take away a form of individuality that students possess when they are given the opportunity to wear what they want. So, the second reason why school uniforms are causing more harm than help is because they don't allow students to express themselves. Just because all the students may dress the same does not mean that, they, that you won't be able to tell the difference between the rich and the poor children. Lastly, socioeconomic status is evident even with school uniforms. A research from the Department of Educational Leadership in the 2012 article published by the Journal of School Violence described a uniform program with five main goals. Daughtry noted that the program goals were to increase school safety, increase attendance, and more readily identify school student, non-school students, decrease <coughs> clothing theft, and prevent gang attire. Ultimately, Ultimately, four of the five main goals were related to safety. However, although all of these were goals to protect students, nothing really changed as to how the less fortunate kids were treated. Studies by Anne Bodine, published in 2003 by the Journal of Educational Research, also looked uh, into how kids were about were felt about being forced to wear certain clothing. Um, although all kids have the same uniforms, the, this doesn't mean that suddenly every kid is equal. The kids who are more fortunate are able to buy higher-end uniforms and have 
the opportunity to accessorize themselves in ways that the less fortunate students cannot. Clothing will never be, or clothing is not the only thing that people see when they look at others. They can alter their hair, makeup, accessories, <coughs> and so forcing kids to dress the same does not defeat the fact that the kids will never be financially or socially equal to one another. To review my third and final point, school uniforms do not hide the fact that there are socioeconomic differences between every kid, no matter what they wear. I know in my school there are a variety of students who come from various backgrounds. There are cliques, of course, and some kids may be left out. However, many students in my school identify themselves by what they choose to wear. The jocks may wear more sporty clothes, the fine arts kids may dress more nicely, and so on. Why would one want to take away a person's individual style? Clothing is such an easy, subtle way for one to express his or herself and show the world who they are just by glancing at them. I say that no one should be forced to dress the way that someone tells them. Everyone has a right to their body and what they choose to put on it should be their decision. School uniforms are causing more harm than help. They're expensive, they don't allow students to express themselves, and socioeconomic status is evident even with school uniforms.